Now, one thing about flocculants or any of the water clarifiers that people get really freaked out about is when you add it into the tank, it All right, guys, welcome to the Tide Out Iguana. I'm Eric, and today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about some water clarifiers. So I do have two of the ones that we carry here. We do have the Aquion water clarifier, and then we have the Seachem Clarity. Not gonna get into brands necessarily and tell you which one I think's better, but they are both products that are known as flocculants. Now what a flocculant does is it's actually gonna to bind to all of those little particulates floating in your water. So if you have some cloudy, murky water, anything that just isn't pleasing to the eye in your aquarium, you can add either of these in and they are going to actually work great for you. This idea actually came to me the other day. I was watching Oak Island. So I don't know if you guys watched that at all, but they just drilled a hole, made some really muddy water, tried to put a camera in it, and they used a flocculant to help clear it up. And in that situation, just the same as this, it's gonna bind all of those that cloudiness in your water and just make it settle out so you get a nice clean tank. Now, anytime I use a flocculant, I definitely recommend using some sort of fine filter media. If you have something such as the Tidal filter, they do have their polishing pad, which works amazing. That's gonna collect all of that thick gunk that ends up being in there. It's gonna clear your tank, most of it anyways, but if you have a flocculant, it's gonna just make those particulates bigger and actually make it adhere into that and kind of trap all of that debris in there for you. If you don't have something like that, maybe a canister filter or something else, a really good fine filter fiber is gonna work out great for you. You can kind of jam this into any canister filter, hang on the back, anything like that. And just from the water going through there, it's gonna catch all of that fine, really fine debris and just make the water look a lot more pristine. Now, one thing about flocculants or any of the water clarifiers that people get really freaked out about is when you add it into the tank, it is going to get cloudier, which really freaks people out. They're like, what did I just do to my tank? What's going on? But you know, right away, it's gonna make this tank really cloudy. And then you just give it an hour or so, and it's gonna start getting clearer and just keep getting clearer, but it's gonna connect to all of those little things. So today I have a little bit here. And what I'm gonna do just in here, I tried to dig up some dirty water and see what we can make happen. So I'm gonna add it into the specimen cup of water that we have. So if you kind of look at it as we're going in, you kind of pour it in and you see that cloudiness. And then I'm gonna go ahead and kind of stir it up. Now I really wish I had some cloudier water, but you can see that just made that really, really cloudy. But that's what's supposed to happen. All of that chemical that you just put in is binding to all of those little pieces that are inside that water and it's gonna actually help them uh, adhere and then make them heavier and either settle out in the tank or it's gonna make them go through that filter media a lot easier and like get caught by all of that. So best way to get your tank really pristine, especially if you have family coming over, maybe the holidays are coming up and you just wanna make that tank really, really clean for it. One of these is the product that I would recommend.